What is up, Crackers Gamers here, and um, have you ever wanted to build a huge factory in Tech Classic? Like, say, a huge solar panel factory where you can have endless power and all that? Well, you need the filters, of course, the red wire, the red yellow wire, and all that, but you also need these the panoramic tubing, and they are very annoying because you need a lot of them. But uh, luckily for you, I have made a system that completely automati automatically makes them for you. Um, so now I'm going to be revealing it. So what you need is um, a timer, some red yellow wire, some blocks just put in between these wires, or in between these filters. Don't mind this, it was just a minor thing that happened. Um, some tubes of course some more filters, some auto crafters, more tubes and a um, crystal chest or something that has a huge capacity. Uh, you also want to me some collectors and some condensers and you want to put this put the items in this uh, this order and this order only. So you want to put coal in this side, tin, copper and then glass. And this is why, because the coal is going to go into the left side, when you look straight at it, the left side of the aloe furnace, which you also be needing, because it's going to go into the heating era, area. Um, the copper and the coal are basically, uh, the copper and the tin are basically put together into the same pipe, because that allowed me to put them into the only slot that apparently seems to work. Um, to accept anything so that's why I made it like this uh, and what you also need is another filter pumping outwards into a new um, a auto crafter which you're going to be putting it up in, uh, setting it up in this like you would normally with anything else um, and then you want it to pump out by facing upwards, the filters always have to face upwards or be the on the top of the auto crafter for it to work. So once you have done that, it's going to automatically pump. You can put it really anywhere or make advanced systems that go wherever you want it to go. It's just to compress it a bit. This is the more compact version of it, I guess. So this is how it's made it is very effective I don't really know how much is pumping out at once but it's pumping out a pretty good amount it's only be active for what five minutes and it's already pumped out a fairly good amount um, so yeah that was basically all I had for you today a short tutorial about how to make an automated crafting system for pandemic tubings uh, I hope you liked it. Please like if you did or dislike. Comment any ideas to what I should be doing of these sorts or any other games that you want me to do. And uh, hit that subscribe button and please do share. And, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.